I'm Cami and I'm the designer who made the costume. Uh, I'm James and I'm the actor. So the design is meant to be um, about King Edward II. I really wanted to send the idea of entrapment and how it probably felt for him to feel this thing and have these desires of not being able to fully um, show them to the people he loved. So because of the royalty and how things worked back then, he had to keep that for himself. So that's pretty much what the headpiece and the whole costume is trying to transmit. Um, for me, uh, I'm, I'm trans, I'm gay, and I've lived my whole life feeling like I had to hide parts of who I am, even though you know I came from a very accepting family. And so I understand how Edward feels about having to hide certain parts of himself. And so I think that part of the story really resonates with me. I'm Romy Amate and I'm the designer. Uh, I'm Grande Patogo and I'm the actor. Um, this is a costume that I've designed um, for Margaret Cavendish. Um, she's a writer, she's a massive writer, so we've gone for writing and as much inkiness and text on her and she's got this ink dripping out of her hands as stylistically as we could do indoors. Um, she was a royalist. So we've given her a Cavalier's hat just because it is who she was as a person and I think uh, along with these big combat boots um, and big trousers with more writing on them because it's a more masculine aspect of her. She was blurring, like, blurring lines between gender and stuff, you know, she's obviously doing both. Um, but yeah, she sounded like, you know, she got, she was doing everything, basically at the time what she wasn't supposed to do, none of these things. She's very opinionated. Um, my name is Ivan Richards, I'm an NTU theatre design student in my third year. So my design is about Heracles um, and a story of him and Queen Omphale, where he was given to her as a slave for a year um, and was made to wear women's clothes and do women's chores and after that year they married. As a trans woman and an ancient Greek fanatic, um, the story was really interesting to me. I've always found it um, calling towards ancient Greece and, and their stories um, and a story about what we know as the most masculine man of history wearing women's clothes and being okay with that and having a fluidness to his sexuality and gender is really interesting and it's something that I think we all could do with learning a bit more about these queer characters in history. Um, I'm Lucia, um, I'm a theatre design student, third year. And my name is Lee, uh, I'm a uh, graduate. This story is William Noble, who was a constable uh, knight at this Nottingham Castle. And the design idea is the shield, which is an imperial shield, which was on their tomb. Um, this is William Neville's and this is his lover, John Clanval. Um, and then this is a chest plate. And then underneath is the reveal of the tomb as it wasn't usual, unless you were married at the time period. And then uh, mesh armour for the shoulder and back. I think the uh, historic connection between William Neville and uh, Nottingham Castle, um, historically documenting that uh, culture is very important. I'm Cinder Smith. And I'm Rachel Ross. And the character for this performance is Ursula Brangwen from D.H. Lawrence's The Rainbow, book from 1915, where one of the characters experiences a same sex relationship with a teacher. And I was drawn to the project after um, answering the, the open call for uh, NTU looking for actors. Um, and then I met Cinder and then 
I read The Rainbow and it really intrigued me on how um, the relationships um, kind of mirror today, even though this was written in 1950 and some of the struggles still exist.